I'm here today to share a few tips on how to prevent flooding in your home. With a few simple, easy steps, we can help prevent a lot of damage and save a lot of money. Awesome. Sounds good. So one of the first things a person can look at is, is starts on the street. Number one thing we have to do is get the water away from the house. And we can start out here at the storm drain. If you ever see that your storm drain on your street is clogged with leaves, take a broom and clean them off so that the water can flow freely off the street and it won't go into your yard. That makes sense. So coming onto the property is you want to make sure your gutters are clean, the downspouts are in good condition, not leaking, and that your extensions are away from the house. If we can do those three things, that's 90% of the battle right there. Okay. So for example, in this case, it's almost a little short. So what, uh, should I change this one? What's your opinion of that one? Well, I would get a longer one. Okay. Is what I would do. Like I say, you want to make sure six feet from the house and to an area where the water runs away. And so in this case, Justin, we've got a loose downspout. The downspout is clogged at the bottom okay. and it's missing its extension. So if you were to run to Canadian Tire and get yourself a downspout extension to carry it across the sidewalk, that would get the water away from your house. It would also prevent all this damage that you're getting on the concrete, which is also creating a slip hazard in the spring and winter. Okay. So I guess that makes sense. We could also run it across the top, I guess, as well, right? Well, that'd be a, you know, that'd be the next step up and, and it'd look a lot nicer and it'd never get damaged again. Okay. Sounds good. Basically this one, every time you're in a high traffic area, they always end up getting damaged and kicked and beat up a little bit. This one here has been crushed. This might be a good example for that green flexible downspout extension run across the grass and then it would be maybe withstand this damage a little better. Yeah, this one's probably leaking out a little bit. I guess that would cause some issues, wouldn't it? Yeah, it, it sure can. It okay. sure can. Okay. So I also see you've got a couple window wells here. Now one doesn't have a cover and one has kind of a homemade cover. Um, the homemade cover is working, it's, but it's maybe a little less elegant. Yeah. You can actually buy a manufactured, their clear plastic cover. Okay. And they'll uh, go over the window well and keep the water out of the window. Another thing to look at while we're here is it's a good idea to clean out your window wells. You don't want all that debris in there because it creates a mat and it'll allow the water to build up in there okay. and, and then come in your window. Okay, that makes sense. Now along with downspouts, the, the other number one important thing to keep the water away from your house is what we call grading or making sure that everything slopes away from your house. In this particular instance you can see that it's sloping from the backyard past down past the house. In this case we might create what we need is call a swale which is kind of a low area just about six eight feet from the house that'll catch water coming both ways and then direct it around the house. Okay. So another thing you'll want to keep in mind here is that the grading is also important underneath decks. So for example, down here, yeah, you can see that it's sloping in towards the house. Right. So any water that falls through the deck is going right up next to your foundation. Okay. So what would we do to fix the water that comes through the deck? Well, that's a little more work. Oh, okay. But you can start by just shoveling dirt underneath there. Okay. And if you're getting real keen about it, you can also pull up a couple, three boards so you can dump in with a wheelbarrow and rake it around. Okay. Easy enough. That's the big two biggest things on the outside of the house. Keep keep the water away okay. and make sure it runs away. And if you can do those two things 90% of the time, you'll solve a lot of problems. So as you can see, every home's a little bit different. The Intact Center at the University of Waterloo has a fantastic tool I encourage you to go complete. Go to www.homefloodprotect.ca. By completing a home flood protection checkup, you can figure out some things to do to reduce your flood risk. You even get a confidential report emailed to you that gives you a summary of what you need to do to be prepared. And most of these items can be purchased at your local Canadian Tire Store. As I said, it all begins at home. <laughs>